Here's your wrestling news for June 6, 2021. And your headlines for today include Demands of Andrade El Idolo before signing with AEW are revealed. WWE backstage demands of Roman Reigns are revealed. WWE announces Big Battle Royal, contract signing, and more for Monday's Raw. WWE writer called out over controversial social media posts. Mark Carano's empty promises surfaced that he made to WWE faction. Drew McIntyre wants to face John Cena at WrestleMania 39. Police on lookout for suspects stealing from WWE Thunderdome. Adam Pearce reveals he is a legal Scottish lord in hilarious video. Sheamus shows off nasty nose injury in new hospital photo. Bad news for Batista fans. Braun Strowman posts cryptic message about his pro wrestling future and more. We're starting with this week's AEW Dynamite, which saw Andrade El Idolo debut for the company. Released from WWE in March without a non-compete clause, Wrestling Inc. reports that AEW didn't waste time in trying to sign him, as Andrade and Tony Khan met in Florida the same week he was let go. The report also notes that Andrade made some pretty outrageous demands as part of those negotiations, as he wanted full creative control of his character and the power to veto losing matches. This kind of control was one of the reasons for the downfall of WCW, but a compromise has been reached, meaning Andrade has some control over the results and finishes of his matches. AEW wasn't his only option, as Impact was reportedly willing to agree to Andrade's demands of full creative control, but the two sides couldn't agree on money and number of appearances. It was reported that Impact and Andrade were close to a one-off appearance, but that didn't happen, and now he's in AEW with a level of control most wrestlers could only dream of. Since returning to WWE last August, Roman Reigns has dominated SmackDown, with his influence on screen as a mafia boss as Keel only matched by influence backstage. During Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer explained just how much influence Reigns has behind the scenes, which includes an interesting rule for the Tribal Chief. You put the most important first or last, that's the big argument right now with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns will either go first or last, he won't go anywhere else, that's a shoot. He doesn't want to go anywhere but first, because that's okay, or last, which is preferable, because he's the main event and he doesn't want to go on second or fourth or second from the top. Even without this clause, we imagine the Universal Champion would be headlining SmackDowns and pay-per-views, but it's interesting that he refuses to work anywhere else on the card. Over to Raw and tomorrow night's show, we'll see the Red Brands continue on the road to Hell in a Cell with a contract signing between Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre. This will make their WWE title match official, and it's expected that their match at the pay-per-view will be decided inside Hell in a Cell. Tomorrow's show will also feature Shayna Baszler confront Lily and Alexa Bliss in Alexa's Playground, as well as a Fatal 5-Way tag team match. That match will see The New Day, The Viking Raiders, Lucha House Party, T-Bar and Mace, and RK Bro compete, with a winner earning a shot at the Raw Tag Team Champions AJ Styles and Omos down the line. SummerSlam news and after months of speculation, it's now confirmed that this year's show will be at the Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. This show will be on Saturday, August 21st at 8pm Eastern, and thanks to the Manny Pacquiao vs. Errol Spence Jr. fight the same night, WWE will be a distant second in terms of popularity that weekend. PW Insider reports that WWE plans on SummerSlam being over by the time of the big fight, and those fans attending both events will be able to go through SummerSlam straight into Pacquiao vs. Spence, who aren't expected to hit the ring until around 11.30pm to midnight Eastern. Fightful reports that WWE did consider other locations after Pacquiao's return to boxing was announced and that it was Allegiant Stadium who requested SummerSlam move to Saturday night. Though this announcement was spoiled by Asuka on Twitter earlier this week, it's now been confirmed by WWE and will be a part of the company's 25-city tour with live fans. Now, WWE has a staff full of writers from different backgrounds, and this week, one member of creative caused quite a stir. Online, a fan came across the old website of WWE writer Millie Tamarez, who proclaimed a catchphrase she came up with, All d**ks are trash. 
coined in the summer of 2016, Tamaris's catchphrase is, quote, symbolizing the frustration faced by any human who's ever attempted to interact with a man. Tamaris also runs the Tumblr, White Forgiveness, where she says she'll forgive people's white guilt for money, and screenshots are being shared from that blog. Tamaris has now set her Twitter to private as fans continue to question these posts, and with several fans tagging Vince McMahon, Stephanie, and Triple H, we'll have to see how this plays out. Earlier this year, Mark Carano was cut from WWE and given his reputation about being something of a snake backstage, as well as allegedly stealing championship belts, he won't be missed by many in WWE. Now, another claim against Carano has come forward, as while well speaking to Fightful Select, Alexander Wolf discussed how Carano told Sanity that the company had big plans for them, which Wolf said were empty promises. At the time, Carano was head of talent relations, though Wolf explained he'd rather Carano be honest than lie to him and give him a false sense of confidence. Wolf also explained that whilst WWE had some plans for Sanity, they were never big, and that several ideas for them were later recycled for retribution years later. Now, both Wolf and Carano are gone from WWE, but whilst Wolf would be an interesting signing for any other company, don't expect to see Carano around for a very long time. Now, Drew McIntyre remains one of WWE's top stars and was the unquestionable face of the company last year during unprecedented times. That role once belonged to John Cena, and whilst the pair have met in the ring before, the first ever Scottish WWE Champion wants one more shot at Big Match John. Speaking in a T-Mobile Center video, McIntyre discussed WrestleMania 39, which will be going Hollywood, and his dream opponent. He said, if we're going Hollywood, Rock would be the obvious choice, but I kind of want to see Rock and Roman, so I'll take Cena since he's kind of gone Hollywood. It would be a great story, Cena challenging for his 17th World Championship. Absolutely, I like it. Both Rock and Reigns have teased a match for WrestleMania 39, and whilst it's rumored that Reigns will face Cena at SummerSlam 2021, WWE has plenty of time to build to Cena McIntyre in 2023. For the past year, WWE has operated from the Thunderdome, which currently resides in the Yingling Center and was recently the target of a thief. The Tampa police have confirmed that they are hunting for a person who was seen stealing property from Vince McMahon, and though it wasn't noted exactly what they took, the culprit took several items. The police report says the man removed several items from WWE's Thunderdome and is seen wearing a red shirt, blue jeans, and black sneakers. Odds are that police will catch this guy because they have plenty of visual evidence, but the bigger questions are what did he take and how exactly did he get away with stealing all this equipment from under WWE's nose. Now, Adam Pearce has had a lot of roles in wrestling, from NWA World Champion to WWE's latest authority figure, and he's also now a legal Scottish Lord. On Twitter, Pierce dropped a hilarious video to reveal that he owns land in Scotland and is a legal lord of the country and has hung the official documentation over his own personal throne, a toilet. Pierce, or should that be Lord Pierce, does have the paperwork to back up his claim, but we doubt Drew McIntyre, Nikki Cross, Kaylee Ray, or any other Scottish superstar will be bowing to Pierce despite his lordship. On this week's Raw, Sheamus suffered a broken nose against Umberto Carrillo, but has made it clear that he doesn't plan on relinquishing the United States title. Now, Sheamus has uploaded more photos from the hospital where his nose is heavily bandaged, but used the hashtag and still, as he has no plans on giving up the gold. Sheamus' nose was broken by a swift kick from Carrillo, and though we don't know when he'll be back, we expect he'll be on the hunt for Carrillo when he eventually returns. Jim Starlin created the Drax character in 1973 for Marvel Comics. He recently spoke to Inverse about Marvel Studios replacing Dave Bautista in the Drax character. He understands not wanting to take your shirt off at 54 years old, something Bautista has spoken about in the past. This is a situation where Disney has figured out that they can make a ton of money off of the Drax character and an actor change isn't going to stop them from cashing in. They're doing so with or without the former WWE Champion as well. It might be odd to see someone else in the Drax role, but tons of fans will still throw money at Disney to see what Drax does with a new actor in the role. And we're ending with former WWE superstar Braun Strowman, who shared a cryptic message about his wrestling future. 
On Twitter, Strowman asked if fans will remember him and said that there's too many places that he's got to see. Leonard Skinner fans will recognize Strowman's tweet as the lyrics to Freebird, and whilst Mick Foley has said that AEW is the must-go place for the monster among men, time will tell which of the many places Strowman ends up. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.